Hi everyone, you all. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into V Chain. The ticket is VET versus USD. So I just want to say thank you for your support. Big up the Coins Kid crew, okay? Thank you to each and every single one of you for everything you do. Sharing is caring, honestly. Thank you for your level of support across the channel. So right now, um, V Chain ran into that level of resistance. It's, it's breaking out basically. You, you're still in technical targets to the upside. You know, you're still retracing, but you, you're having a correction basically. And this was actually anticipated um, in the channel. We did say to you, you know, if you do see a roll, you're looking for a retest of this W bottom. It's not quite got there yet. So you, you, this potential retest could actually still be at play because you can see here you rolled over and you, you wick down to this W bottom just there. And we do think that, that this particular wave four correction right here is playing out very similar to this wave two correction just here. Okay, you double top your correction you, you rally to a level of resistance you fall back to a key level of support for continuation but like i said to you just because it's happened here before does not necessarily mean it has to happen but it is so far you know it's all playing out like a t you know so do expect potentially we could still be looking at a, a little bit more of a correction here for v chain you could see a little whip down to this particular level okay which is the neckline of this ww bottom do you see that because this is what happened there ww bottom you came up got extended you had a roll a correction in the market came back to a key level of support you had a wick down to this particular level of support for continuation right there you know and, and that's basically rechain but again you know just because it bounced here and went up does not mean it bounce here and go up again if, if, if it does fantastic got a cheat sheet yeah and everything's playing out like a t you know like we've anticipated so far um and but we we if it does play out like that then we've got upside targets but if it does roll i'm going to show you the downside targets so right now what you're doing for v chain is healthy to be honest with you even though it's not nice it is healthy you know come up and you run into a little resistance you start to retrace okay you are still in a technical target to this high which you've got to and this high here and this high here because you're retracing okay you've you've broken out of a, a massive fall, uh, falling wedge which i gave you it doesn't look pretty as <laughs> my technical drawings but yeah you've broken out and you're on your way but in the in the in the, in the path of going and the journey of going you, you're coming back to a key level support looking for continuation do you understand that you're retracing you're retracing just like you were tracing to this high you were tracing to this low for a key level support for a new impulsive wave to the upside do you understand that okay so I'll show you your key levels of support and what, what it is I've switched to the daily time frame you'll see what I mean so basically you've come up in a monster impulsive wave just here and you've got a key level of support that you do need to see hold in this retracement okay just here or V chain from there to there you are now retracing to a key level of support for the continuation of the trend do you understand that so do you understand that so you can see that, that this pretty pretty much the neckline sits where the the the, the 050 is in this retracement you, you almost wick down to it okay so just put some cheeky bids down here on this particular level there for a test of support if we do start to roll you're above the EMAs on the weekly at the moment which is good it's bullish but if you was to see another little roll in the markets here just put some cheeky bids on this okay because this will tie up with this W double bottom neckline and this 050 which is a nominal retracement level it's a perfectly healthy retracement level you come up you come down and you get the break for continuation because at that point when you come up break this high you're looking at that you're looking at that and you're looking at the the one dollars fifty right there that we've got for v chain in the channel so it's looking good you know you come up you retrace continuation you understand that just like you did here look you come up you break out you retrace continuation come up retrace continuation it works in waveforms i mean the, these corrections just here the, these are pretty hefty as well to be honest with you because uh, this is how much v chain corrects you had a whopping correction there of around about uh what was that 26 percent this one was 23 percent you know this one was what was that 16 percent this correction here was uh 26 percent you know it's what it does here you had a correction of 33 percent this one was a monster that was 50 percent this one was 21 percent you know when you go up you gotta come down so yeah it's looking good it's looking good providing you can hold support you know you don't fall any lower than that because if you do is another technical target to the downside so if you start to see v, uh, v chain come up and retrace okay which it's doing perfectly healthy remind you it's perfectly healthy if it starts to retrace and it starts to fall any lower in particular the the, the 55 ema on the weekly and you start to lose a 0618 the golden ratio at eight three 08302 then you're given a high probability of creating something called a reversal wave and with reversal wave you're coming back down to where you form the impulsive wave which is down here at 0 0.5592 and with that 
with that you're looking at a fib extension down here to 0 0.2905 and that for me is your bear market because you're losing this structural low and you're entering the bear market where you may just hit your head and you may not recover so at the moment we're structurally sound for continuation until we lose that key level of support right there the golden ratio okay so that's basically VeChain. Hope you enjoyed that update. Stay healthy, stay strong. Um, if you do start to see another roll in the market, just put some cheeky bids on the 050, potentially come down, create some kind of double bottom pattern just there. Because that's what we're looking for in these questions. When you roll over, you look for some kind of reversal signature, a reversal pattern like you did here, you know, where you start to get like a low, a low, and you come up and you've got this key level resistance. You can see you're attacking it, you break it, you see you later, you know. So that's what we're looking for, some kind of key signature bottom where you do something like this you've got this little resistance you know do something like that come up hit your head break it boom just like we did here give you technical targets when we break that you'll have technical targets so that's v chain stay healthy stay strong stay tuned and uh take care everyone bye bye